Hi there. I've been sharing some rattan basket weaving techniques and you can find other videos in this series in the description below. Today I want to share twill weave in baskets. Twill weave is an alternative to plain weave where you're going over one and under one all the way around your basket. Twill weave you can do it in two different patterns. There's a two to one and a two to two twill weave and what that means is that when you're weaving you're going over two stakes and going behind one stake and over two stakes and behind one stake. And that pattern you can begin to see here. Two stakes behind one stake, two stakes behind one stake, or over two, under one, over two, under one. The other one is two and two, so going over two stakes and then under two stakes. The outcome is a somewhat of a stair step diagonal pattern in your weave where the stair step builds up the side of your basket. In this video, I'm going to share the two to one twill weave. So I'm gonna grab a piece of, I'm using half inch flat reed for this guy. I have a really long piece. Okay, so I've already started this basket so you can start to see the pattern building up in the walls. And now I'm going to continue weaving this pattern starting on and over. So where my reed would go over a stake, I'm going to start this new weaver. I'm gonna clamp this in place. And then where you left off or where I left off is how I figure out what I'm doing next. And if you're just starting out, you can just go ahead and start under over two, under one, over two, and just start to weave. When you pick up where you left off, you're going to have to figure out what your pattern was and what your next pattern's going to be. So here I went over two on this first row, and then I skipped one over and went over two on this second row, and now I need to skip over one and go over two on this row. So I'm actually going to go behind this reed here tuck this under like so. So now behind this one, over these two stakes, and then behind the next stake, and then create a nice crisp corner and turn this corner. Now tool weave, when you turn a corner, can be tricky to remember your pattern. So reference your the side that you just wove as you weave to the next wall because you can start to mess up your pattern if you aren't paying attention. So I went over these two stakes here under my next, my corner will be over two and then under this third stake on this wall. And as you go, if you have clamps in the way, go ahead and move those out of your way. And now I went under this guy. I'm going to go over these two behind this next stake. And then I have a corner stake here. So I'll be going over this corner stake and then the next corner stake. So those are both over and then under this third stake. Over these two stakes, under this next stake. Over these two stakes, under this stake. over these two stakes and under this stake. Create a nice crisp corner. And here, I'm just gonna double check. Went over these two, under this one, this corner. I'll turn and go over these next two. All the way around. And twill weave on this type of basket is a start and stop technique because each row builds up on itself. So I'll go over these two on this corner. So you're starting and stopping each row in the same place. So I'm coming back to my beginning here, continuing that pattern over two behind one, and I'll lift up this clamp. And then I end over these two tucked behind this one and I'm going to bring it over these two and hide it, clip this end, and hide this end under this corner stake. So there's my continued stair step pattern over two, over two, over two in a diagonal. And I'll continue this pattern all the way up the basket. So I'll do another row, switching sides, 
or turning my basket a quarter turn to start here. Again, I started on a stake where the last row, it was an under. So you can see my weaver went behind this stake. Now I'm putting my weaver on top of that stake and that will get covered in an over two stitch. And just as though you're doing plain weave, you're going to adjust your stakes as you're working. Make sure your corner ends up straight up and down or pulled in if you want more of an angle and the stakes are at 90 degrees. Just doing the same adjustments you would if you were doing plain weave to maintain the shape of your basket, but adding a little complication with the pattern in your weave. And then back to where I started, I'm going to overlap my end, go under this next one, overlap these two and tuck behind this stake. So I clip to the outside edge of that stake and then I'm gonna tuck it behind so all my edges or ends are hidden. And that is the two to one twill weave. Twill weave is just another way to add texture or pattern to your baskets. Just like a plain weave, which is over one under weave, over one under one twill weave, you can play with the over one under two or over two on under one or the two to two you can experiment with as well. Some baskets that work well with twill weave are baskets where you have an even number of stakes. And I suggest using it on baskets where you have a lot of wall wall real estate because you will be able to see the pattern more clearly. I tried this on a small wall basket and you can see a video about how to weave that in plain weave up here. But I tried the twill weave on that basket and it ended up getting lost because the basket's so narrow and it just has one stake on the sides. And so you ended up not really being able to see the twill weave pattern. So I prefer it on a basket like this, a market basket or a rectangular or square bushel basket where you have more space in the wall to be able to see the stair step of the twill pattern. Some baskets where twill weave doesn't work the best are ribbed baskets, where you're doing a continuous weave around the base and sides of the basket. And on smaller baskets, twill weave doesn't show up, the, the pattern sequence doesn't show up as well. Check out the description below for a link to my email update list. You can subscribe to get a twice a month email from me with lots of resources, tutorials, information, and inspiration on all kinds of textile and fiber arts. You can find that in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and happy basket weaving. See you next time.